Aside from the voicing possibilities with Viscount's physis based organs, it's possible to change aspects of their tuning. For example, you can select one of a large number of historical temperaments, such as Werkmeister or Velotti, which you might want to use to obtain a more authentic sound with some types of older music. You can also make fine adjustments to the basic pitch of the instrument to tune it with others, and you can transpose your playing up or down. Additionally, there are some options that affect the tuning relationships among notes of individual ranks and the tuning anomalies that arise from drops in wind pressure. Because physis organs are based on a simulation of the way that real pipes behave, the tuning relationships can be varied in real time according to the moment-by-moment -moment changes in wind pressure and ensemble that would occur in a pipe organ. For example, real pipes interact with each other to varying degrees if sounded together. Tuning can sag when wind pressure drops depending on the type of pipe, the number of notes sounding, and so forth. This is the tuning page of the Physis control panel. The first option on the list allows you to transpose a performance by a specific number of semitones up or down. In its default state, as you see here, it's not transposed, and a C major chord sounds in C major. But if we take it down to minus one, then everything is taken down a semitone. That could be used for playing with Baroque instruments tuned to A415, for example, or you could simply use it to play hymns in a different key without having to figure out the transposition yourself. The range is six semitones either way. So we'll take that back to the standard pitch. Next on the list, we can select the temperament to which the organ is tuned. The default is equal temperament, which is how most modern instruments are tuned. In equal temperament, every semitone is essentially the same fraction of an octave, and there are no perfectly harmonic intervals except octaves. It's a compromise that works well for the majority of situations, but over history there have been all sorts of alternatives that spread the tuning errors out differently across the scale. These make some intervals and keys more in tune than others. Each has its adherence, and you may find that some Baroque and early music sounds better in one of these, for example. So I'm not planning to go into the intricacies of historical temperaments here, but it's perhaps enough to show that you are unlikely to run out of possibilities with a physis organ. If we go down the list, you'll see some of the options. You've got Kienberger here, Wertmeister III, Pythagorean, Mean Tone, Velotti, Schaumann, Kellner 1975, Kienberger III. So the list goes on. If we go back to something like Mean Tone here, if we play a chord of C major, it's quite well in tune because the bass key below it, as we'll discuss in a moment, is C but a chord of C-sharp is clearly much further out. Next on the list, the bass key sets the note from which the selected temperament circle of fifths is started. This needs to follow the transposed pitch of notes if the transposer is used. So for example, if you're playing a Baroque pitch with the transposer set to minus one, and you want the bass key to be equivalent to written C, then the bass key should normally be set to B. And right down the bottom of the list, you can fine tune the organ's pitch so that it can be played with other instruments that might not be perfectly in tune. Concert pitch has A above middle C tuned to 440 hertz, but you can vary this so you can see that in very small increments we can shift the pitch in order to tune the instrument. The ensemble setting introduces small natural differences in tuning between simulated pipes and ranks. Pipe organs are never exactly in tune and factors such as temperature and aging will result in different degrees of out-of-tuneness 
At a setting of nothing for ensemble, the notes are perfectly tuned. So you can hear very stable tuning, possibly slightly unrealistic. And as the values are increased, we'll take this up to something like four, it begins to sound a bit more realistic. This more variation, micro variation between the different notes that are sounding. And if we take it to something rather extreme, such as eight, you can really hear what's going on. So if we take it back down to something more realistic, a standard setting would be something like three or four. Five is possible for something that's a bit more jangly, perhaps. Below this on the menu is air pressure, and this simulates the drop in wind pressure that can result in pipe organs when a lot of wind is demanded in a short time. If you play large tutti chords, then you'll notice this more. At a value of nothing, the wind pressure remains constant no matter what stops are drawn or what notes are played. It's a sort of perfectly stable but impossible wind supply, you might say. And here we play some large chords. And really, nothing much changes at the beginning of the notes. If we begin to take the value down to something like minus four, which is in the middle of the range. You can hear that at the beginnings of those chords, things take some time to stabilize as the wind pressure begins to adapt. And if we take it to something really quite extreme, you'll hear much more clearly what's going on. And you can hear that the ensemble and the tuning dip quite noticeably during the onset of the chords. In the most recent versions of Physis, the number of gradations on this air pressure scale was doubled, so there are now eight levels rather than four. And a former value of minus one is therefore now minus two, for example. This basic air pressure setting also interacts to some extent with the more advanced winding options possible in recent versions of Physis, which simulate different styles of wind supply. But we'll take a look at those another time, along with subtle features such as the tuning style of Celestes. I've shown you how the tuning characteristics of Physis-based organs can be adjusted to accommodate different performance contexts and to simulate aspects of pipe organ behavior for improved authenticity. These features make the organs adaptable to a wide range of situations, able to simulate many of the subtle tuning inconsistencies that give pipe organs an interesting sound.